I have the pleasure now to be speaking to Paolo Negri, uh, co-founder of Contentful, an API-first content management platform. So you guys went from a startup to now a, a big company with, I believe, like 800 employees, right? Uh, and active uh, globally. Um, how, how did that go from a seed funding perspective, from an investment perspective? Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's been a really, um, you know, a cycle and stage driven sort of, path, sort of path. Like you said, we started by raising our seed funding round with a minimum viable product uh, and uh, some traction to then, uh, you know, the, success, the successive phases of fundraising, Series A with uh, market fit proved, and then Series B to start you know, growing up and scaling up the go-to-market operations. And then we went on through the you know, VC funding round stages uh, until the current times where we have a global footprint, like I said, a team that counts more than 800 employees globally, presence uh, directly in the geographies of Berlin, Denver, San Francisco, and uh, by now also a uh, new uh, emerging pool of uh, remote employees that uh, is probably our second second effective uh, hub. Um, so it's been really yeah, a story driven by entrepreneurship and the venture capital as a uh, yeah, engine uh, uh, to fuel really our growth. And where did you meet uh, these partners uh, in growth? Yeah, I mean, we started the uh, fundraising in the area of Berlin and uh, the, the, those times were very different from now. In Berlin, there wasn't so much uh, capital and eventually we found some partners in uh, Point Nine Capital, uh, which is local to Germany as a VC, uh, and then from Balderton, uh, who was um, back then based in uh, London. And uh, we started then from Europe, essentially, and then as we looked into our uh, Series B, uh, we went actually to the Bay Area, we found a partner in Benchmark, uh, and from then, basically, we've been mostly um, yeah, um, looking at the US for fundraise. But again, it's been uh, great to see that over time, the scene really changed. And now in Europe, there are actually so many possibilities to fundraise, not only early stage, but also in the yeah, st later stages uh, uh, of the journey. So that's something that we've seen change, changing uh, while we were working uh, in this market. Yeah. And you and I were standing smack down in the middle of that change with this conference, O100 conference in Vienna. Uh, what's been your impression so far and how did you like it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's uh, very interesting and, uh, you know, it's not a topic that you see talked about very often. So it's great to be at an event where there is all this focus uh, around this very special uh, reality. And again, it's great to see the European scene. It's something that I'm very enthusiastic because, of course, I come from uh, uh, Europe myself. And uh, to see that uh, there is capital available, that uh, also the understanding of tech is growing. I remember uh, at the beginning when we were fundraising, it wasn't very easy to explain uh, our idea to yeah, uh, firms that were very used to invest into these sort of businesses and now actually there is a lot of ease and familiarity with these topics so it's uh, yeah nice to keep the pulse of this community and seeing it uh, uh, grow and evolve really speaking of growth uh, and scaling um, it can be hard maybe to keep these uh, this kind of technology technological pioneering spirit that you spoke about um, how did you deal with it at contentful as you guys were growing Sure. Yeah, I mean, one thing that uh, we really did was, and of course, as a funding team, you know, we are pretty hands-on on the company. Uh, we want to have our influence and to see the company growing uh, along the imprint that we gave at the beginning. So, uh, Contentful really has this idea of uh, being built by builders for builders. And uh, that's something that we looked at keeping uh, while we were uh, um, actually yeah, growing our company. And uh, is uh, also all these cycles of fundraise um, that we've been through also sign a bit the cycles of growth of the company. And we've been mindful at each cycle of growth to really establish, okay, what was our path forward? How could we um, explain to the people who were on board in the Contentful team, uh, what was the journey for this cycle of growth? What were the important things? And that's how we kept aligned culture, objective, and really understanding like, what are we aiming next uh, in order to access basically the next level of uh, growth and expansion of the business. Any perspectives in the near future? Are you going to uh, bring out something new or uh, what's, what's the plan? Sure, we will, go, we will keep on uh, expanding the capabilities of our uh, platform. In 2020, we launched our application framework and we keep on building on this concept of uh, the platform on which our customers, partners uh, and clients can um, uh, build on. Uh, there will be announcement coming. I cannot obviously give a, a preview here, but yeah, we are still pretty active. We are a growth company and we look at expanding our product and there are yeah, big news uh, in the pipeline, of course. Thank you so much, Paolo, for your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Daniel. It was great, and it's great to be at this event.